welcome to our channel. Today I'll review my favorite GPS navigation app for the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. This is a standalone app so you don't need any other app on your mobile device for it to run unlike most of the other apps. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. You'll find a dedicated playlist for Samsung smartwatches with more detailed videos like this one so be sure to check it out. Before I start this video, I want you guys to know that this is not a sponsored review and I'm not the developer of this app. Now you may find a lot of apps on the Galaxy App Store for navigation and maps, but most of those free apps will lack a lot of features which this app covers up. Most of the free apps also need a mobile app so you can't use your watch as a standalone navigation system, but with this app you only need your phone for data connection rest everything is done from the watch like gps signal route tracking direction turn by turn navigation voice command and voice search real time traffic route recalculation and much more all this is not free but it doesn't break the bank either by only costing 399 canadian dollar the price may vary depending on your location and any deal that the developer has to offer but to me it's reasonable and definitely worth it for what it has to offer. Let's start by showing you how to find and install it, then I'll review the app and at the end I'll show you a real world usage with my final say. It's fairly easy to find, I have attached the direct link to this app in the description of this video, make sure to open it up from a mobile device. If not, you can find it in the Galaxy App Store of your mobile device by searching GPS navigation and you will find this GPS navigation app by Somiac. I have already installed it but you will find an option to purchase this app somewhere. With installation being done you will not need your mobile device anymore as you can do everything right from your watch. So let's review all the features of this particular app. Before I open the app you will need to do few things. You need to make sure that your watch is connected to your phone and turn on the location. I will not turn on the location for the video purpose. Now let's open the app. Once you open the app, you will see the GPS map which is powered by the here maps. And that's why you will see the here watermark at the bottom. Now you can browse around the map and it shows the street name highway numbers and all the details that you need. It loads up relatively fast and does not lag at all. You get two options from here. The icon on the right will be to find your location on the map and the one on the left will open up all these options. Now I really like the circular menu versus the list style menu, especially the digital rotating bezel works great with this type of menu. So let's talk about all the options you get over here like the search. The best part about the search is that you have option to do a voice search on top of the ability to type with this keyboard. There is a dedicated voice search option so let's go back. So when you click on the voice search you can click start and speak the name of the place you want to go. After which it will prompt you to confirm. Once you confirm it, you will get the list of all the nearby search results. And when you click on any one of them, it will take you on the map screen. You can click on direction and it will calculate the route and start guiding you turn by turn. Stay tuned as I'll show this in real time at the end of this video. Next option in the menu is places where you get multiple options like restaurant, shopping, petrol station, transport, accommodation, hospitals, ATMs, museums, administrative buildings, leisure outdoor, and to return to the main menu. When you click on any of these options, it will start searching for it. And you can click on it to directly navigate to that particular search result. 
Moving on in the main menu, you'll find the route tracking. This will track the route on the map, provided you have selected a location. Next up is the GPS status, which will show you your current coordinates and the accuracy. Next in the main menu is history, where you will find the search history and you can even delete the search history if that's needed. Next is favorites, where you'll find your selected favorite addresses. Again, you can add or delete address directly from this page, which is pretty cool. I really like this attention to details. Next on the main menu is my routes, where you'll find all the routes that you have used in the past. And again, you can delete them as needed but I find this really useful as if you were to click on any of the item, it will recalculate that particular route. Next is settings, where you'll find all the options like voice command language, which is English, but you do have a lot of option over here. Next is lock screen. Turning this on will make the screen stay on all the time when the app is open. This does drain the battery significantly, but I find it useful for short trips and obviously for the video purpose. Next is sound effects. Since the Active 2 has a built-in speaker, you can get some cool sound effects. Next is the Google services. Make sure this is on if you want to use the voice search as this app uses Google speech system for the voice based search. Next is vibrate to enable all the vibration effects. Moving on is the option to select between a 24 hour or a 12 hour clock system. Next is pedometer. This is my personal favorite, which you will see later on during this video as it shows you your speed in real time. Next is auto route tracking. Turning this on will track your route on the map. Next is unlock screen on maneuver, which unlocks the screen during a navigation in case if you have to change anything. Lastly, it's navigation icon. So you can toggle between a dot or an arrow. Now under maps, you'll find the map type. Here is where you get the satellite view, terrain view or a hybrid view. Next options are to use the metric system traffic layer which actually works surprisingly well as turning this on will show a traffic layer on the map while navigating to show you the current traffic. Next is transit which will show the public transit options on the map. Next is scale bar then the auto rotate map which shows real time directions. Next is using geocoding which is to search location by their names. Under route settings, you will find options like optimization for the fastest route or the shortest economic and a scenic route. Next options are to avoid tolls and motorways. Lastly, under others, it's the reset hints, which will reset all the app settings to default. So that's pretty much it with the options in the main menu. There is about rate this app. And I don't know why the back option falls in a separate page. Maybe because the screen real estate fell short to accommodate it on one page. But this app has all the bells and whistles for a perfect standalone GPS slash map navigation app. As you saw, you have all the cool options which you will not find in most of the apps like no need for a mobile app voice search, turn by turn navigation, route tracking, point of interest, saving favorite addresses, search history and a lot. Now let me show you a real time usage scenario. Sorry in advance for the shaky clip as my wife had to help me record it as I didn't want to record while driving, which I wouldn't recommend either.
So my final verdict is that this is all-in-one navigation app for Samsung smartwatches. It will work like a charm, the voice detection is great, the turn-by-turn -turn navigation guide is precise, it even shows your current speed, traffic, and you get all the bells and whistles of a perfect GPS app like route tracking, satellite and terrain maps, tolls and motorway avoidance, and much more. I'll definitely recommend this app over any other app. I have tried some free navigation apps and those are not even remotely close to what this app has to offer. I also want you guys to know that you can chat with me directly on my discord server linked in the description of this video and there you can also discuss and troubleshoot a lot of smartwatches and smartphones. So if you are on discord join me on my server. With that being said I really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give this video a thumbs up it really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching and take care I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh,